everyone, I'll be setting up a dual boot of Windows 11 and the latest version of Ubuntu Desktop 23.10. I currently have Windows 11 and will be installing Ubuntu on a separate drive. In disk management here, I have a 200 gigabyte drive. This is an empty drive that I'm going to install Ubuntu onto. And I have my USB drive here, 64 gigabytes. And this is where I'm going to be putting the Ubuntu image so I can boot off of it. So you can download the image at ubuntu.com. Just go to download, get Ubuntu desktop, and then Ubuntu 23.10, and then download. And then once that's finished downloading, you can go to Rufus, rufus.ie, and then you can download Rufus. I download the portable version here. And then once both files are downloaded, go to your downloads directory, and then you can open up Rufus and then select your USB drive, and then select the ISO, Ubuntu, and then you can leave the rest as defaults, and then hit start, and then it'll put the ISO image onto the USB drive. And afterwards, you're going to restart your computer and boot off of the USB drive. When it's booted, you'll get a grub menu here, and then we're going to pick try or install Ubuntu. All right, I'm going to pick language, English, next. I'm going to install Ubuntu next, English, and I'm going to use a wired connection. I'm going to hit skip, and I'm going to install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware. Hit next, and here I'm going to erase disk and install Ubuntu, and I'm going to hit next. And in this screen, it asks which drive that you want to install it to. So I have SDA, that's where my Windows drive is. SDB, this is my 200 gigabyte drive. And then there's SDC, which is the USB drive. So SDB is the one where I'm gonna install Ubuntu to. And I hit next. And then here, it's gonna make changes on the drive SDB. And then SDB1 is gonna be formatted for the EFI partition. And the second partition is gonna be for slash, for root. And hit install. And then here it's asking for your time zone. So I'm just gonna keep the default next. Here it's asking for your name and your computer name and pick a username and password. Hit next. I'm gonna pick a dark theme. Next. And it's going to install. You can click on the terminal button here and it'll show the status. And then just wait for it to complete installing. All right, it says here it's installed and it's ready for use. So I'm gonna restart. I think I'm gonna remove the media. And then you'll get the grub menu here. There's Ubuntu, and then there's the Windows Boot Manager. So I'm going to go into Ubuntu. I'm going to log in. All right, I'm just going to skip this. And I'm going to pick no, don't send system information. Next, next, done. Okay, so here's the desktop for Ubuntu. And I'm going to reboot and go into Windows. Okay, it's back at Grub. I'm going to go into Windows Boot Manager. Okay, it's booted back into Windows here. So that's it. That's how you can easily install Ubuntu on another drive and have a dual boot with Windows. Thank you for watching. Bye now.